Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the cosmos to uncover some of the most mind-blowing facts about space. Get ready to have your mind blown as we explore 10 crazy facts about space that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the universe we live in. Imagine this. The very fabric of our universe is stretching like a cosmic balloon being inflated. That's right, space itself is expanding, carrying galaxies along for the ride like cosmic raisins in a rising loaf of bread. This expansion, discovered by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s, means that most galaxies are moving away from us, and the farther away they are, the faster they're receding. It's like a universal rule, more distance, more speed. As the universe expands, the distances between galaxies increase, making interstellar travel even more daunting, but hey, let's not be discouraged. This expansion also fuels our curiosity, pushing us to develop new technologies and innovative ways to explore the cosmos. It's a cosmic dance between expansion and exploration, and it's a dance that we're just beginning to understand. So buckle up, space cadets, because the journey is far from over. We've all stood on a beach, mesmerized by the seemingly infinite number of grains of sand stretching out before us. But what if I told you that the number of stars in the observable universe absolutely dwarfs the number of sand grains on all the beaches on Earth? Astronomers estimate that there are over 100 billion trillion stars in the observable universe. That's a one followed by 22 zeros, a number so large it's almost impossible to comprehend. To put this into perspective, imagine trying to count every single grain of sand on every beach and desert on Earth. This sheer number of stars is a testament to the mind-boggling scale of the universe we live in. It's a stark reminder that our planet, our solar system, even our galaxy, is just a tiny speck in a vast cosmic ocean teeming with stars, planets, and who knows what else. With so many stars out there, the chances of life existing elsewhere in the universe suddenly seem a lot more likely, don't they? We all take for granted that a day is a day and a year is a year, but on Venus, our closest planetary neighbor, things get a little weird. You see, Venus rotates on its axis so incredibly slowly that a single day on Venus lasts longer than a Venusian year. I know, it sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's true. A day on Venus lasts a grueling 243 Earth days, while a year on Venus, the time it takes to orbit the Sun, is a relatively short 225 Earth days. So if you lived on Venus, you would celebrate your birthday before the sun even rose once. Talk about a long day? While most planets in our solar system, including Earth, rotate on their axis in a counterclockwise direction, Venus spins clockwise. Why Venus rotates in the opposite direction is still a bit of a mystery. Neutron stars are some of the most extreme and bizarre objects in the known universe. These stellar remnants are born from the death throes of massive stars, and they pack more mass than the sun into a sphere no larger than a city. But here's the really mind-blowing part. Neutron stars can spin hundreds of times per second. The fastest spinning neutron star ever discovered, PSR J 1748-2446 ADD, whirls at an astonishing 716 rotations per second. That's over 42,000 revolutions per minute. When a massive star collapses in on itself to form a neutron star, its rotation rate increases dramatically. Think of a figure skater pulling their arms in during a spin, they spin faster. This rapid rotation also generates incredibly strong magnetic fields, trillions of times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. Neutron stars are where the real speed demons reside. Now here's a fact that might make you thirsty. Deep within the Milky Way galaxy, about 26,000 light years from Earth, lies a giant cloud of alcohol. Known as Sagittarius B2, this giant molecular cloud is a hotbed of star formation, and it's teeming with complex organic molecules including ethanol, the same type of alcohol found in your favorite adult beverage. The presence of such complex organic molecules in space has profound implications for our understanding of the origins of life. While this cloud of alcohol is too far away for us to enjoy directly, at least for now, its discovery suggests that the building blocks of life might be more common in the universe than we previously thought. So the next time you raise a glass, take a moment to appreciate the cosmic connection. We've already talked about the incredible speed of neutron stars, but these bizarre objects have another trick up their sleeve, unimaginable density. Imagine this. 
If you could somehow scoop up a teaspoonful of neutron star matter, it would weigh about a billion tons. That's roughly equivalent to the weight of Mount Everest, all crammed into a volume the size of a sugar cube. The atoms inside a neutron star are squeezed together so tightly that there's practically no empty space left between them. This incredible density is a result of the extreme conditions found within a neutron star. When a massive star collapses, its core is compressed to the point where electrons are forced into protons, creating neutrons. The gravitational pull of a neutron star is so strong that if you were to drop a marshmallow on its surface, the impact would be equivalent to detonating a nuclear bomb. Diamonds might be a girl's best friend here on Earth, but out in the vast expanse of space, there's a planet that takes bling to a whole new level. Discovered in 2004, 55 Cancri E is a super-Earth exoplanet that's twice the size of our planet and orbits a sun-like star located about 40 light-years away from us in the constellation of Cancer. But here's the really dazzling part. 55 Cancri E is made largely of pure, crystallized carbon. That's right, this planet is essentially a giant diamond. Now before you start planning your interstellar diamond heist, you should know that 55 Cancri E is incredibly hot with surface temperatures reaching a scorching 4,900 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme heat, combined with the intense pressure deep within the planet, is thought to have forced the carbon atoms to bond together, forming a massive diamond structure. While we can't exactly mine this cosmic treasure trove, just the thought of a planet made of diamonds is enough to spark anyone's imagination. Move over Mount Everest because Mars is home to the largest volcano in our solar system, Olympus Mons. This monstrous shield volcano dwarfs anything found on Earth, towering over the Martian surface at a staggering 16 miles high and spanning an area roughly the size of Arizona. Olympus Mons is a testament to the incredible geological forces that shaped Mars billions of years ago. Unlike Earth, where tectonic plates constantly shift and move, Mars's crust is believed to have remained stationary, allowing volcanoes to erupt in the same location for millions, even billions of years. While Olympus Mons is now dormant, its presence serves as a reminder of Mars's fiery past. In the vacuum of space, no one can hear you scream. We've all heard that iconic line from countless science fiction movies, but have you ever stopped to think about why sound doesn't travel in space? Here on Earth, sound waves travel through the air as vibrations that our ears pick up and interpret as sound. But in space, there's no air, no medium for those sound waves to travel through. Imagine trying to have a conversation underwater with someone standing on the shore. Space is essentially an endless vacuum, a much more extreme version of being underwater, where sound waves simply have nothing to vibrate. So, while we might see spectacular explosions and collisions in space, those events would be eerily silent if we were there to witness them firsthand. You might think that the planet closest to the sun would be the hottest, right? Well, in our solar system, that's not always the case. While Mercury might be the closest planet to our star, the title of hottest planet goes to Venus, the second planet from the sun. Venus has a super dense atmosphere composed mainly of carbon dioxide, a potent greenhouse gas. This thick atmosphere traps heat from the sun, creating a runaway greenhouse effect that sends surface temperatures soaring to an average of 867 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt lead. Mercury, on the other hand, has a very thin atmosphere, practically non-existent. Venus's extreme heat is a stark reminder of the power of the greenhouse effect and the importance of understanding our own planet's climate system. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing space facts. So join us next time as we delve even deeper into the mysteries of the universe.